Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Salvage Gal Creations. Amy here, and I'm coming at you with a collective haul. As you can see, I went to an estate sale the weekend of my birthday, and I'll show you what I got. I spent, I think, 37, which was a little high. I should have went the next day when things were cheaper. But I was so excited. I they had some really cool stuff. This is a place around here that that does a lot of estate sales, Balderdash. And first thing, I found some runners this one's like uh, this one's white it's got these pretty flowers I think I got two of those no this one's cream and this one's white oh nope these are that's what happened. She thought this was a runner and was going to charge me more, but it's actually, I think these are placemats. Got these pretty flowers. I might. My sister was wanting some big doilies, but I might give her these instead of using them. those and this one I fell in love with and I'm not sure what it is but it just has this on the bottom it's like these pink flowers pink and white trim really pretty but it's square on the bottom and then it has this on the other end I don't know. Feels like a real heavy cloth. The first thing I seen when I got one in there was all these doilies. So I got this one, eight diameter. It's got little flowers on the top here. Never opened. There's 40 in this one. And this one has... I'm not sure how many is in here. If it's 12, 7, and 7 eighths inch. These were from Hallmark. They're red. Real pretty design on there. French lace doilies. these bigger ones. These are lace doilies. There's 12 in here, never open. This might have been like a dollar a pack or 50 cents a pack. And then these silver ones are really pretty. Carpetas. Four 12 inch diameter by Gibson and I seen this and I grabbed it right away because I had found a, a a thing my mom had made she had put it in a aluminum pie pan and she had a picture in there and she had this on the background of it but it was like a, like the size of the center here <coughs> So I had to grab this. And then <clears throat> I 
Happy Labor Day, by the way. I hope everybody had a happy, safe one. And continue prayers for Texas and all affected by the Harvey and the Florida for the next one. Keeping y'all in my prayers. And this one has real pretty lace around it. Two of these little napkins with shamrocks and pretty lace around it. These would be good for I'm going to start doing journals. <coughs> Put some lace pages. This one says mother on it. Really pretty. Little flowers down here. And then I seen this bag. Oh, here's some more doilies. This one, these were just by themselves, some white heart ones. Little ones. Some more white. This never opened. 16 in here. Really cute. Another pack of hearts. It says love on that one. These are for Dollar General. 40 count. And then a thing of red hearts. And there's 16 in here. Never opened. So she was a very crafty lady. And then they had these cute little ones. Cute little picture on the back. Made in the USA. I was really happy I found all those. And there was this bag and it had this white one and this peach color. It's really big lace. And there's a lot here. Three dollars. It might have been only 25% off that day. Grab that. There's a little less white here, but I just had to have it. Last things I got <clears throat> were some stuff I'm gonna put on Etsy, maybe, or eBay. And it's the jewelry. seen this cute little gold spoon and it looks like it has a red gem up here and three little rhinestones and like a flower print a little gold spoon they had it marked five dollars And it says something on the back. I thought that was really cute. And I got some earrings. Some 
can't get it apart, but they're these little gold. I don't know if these are Napier or Trifari or something like that. These are all three bucks a piece. And those are clip-ons. They had the little screw clip-on in the back. <coughs> I thought these were really cute little silver leaf. And they have the screw on back too. These are all clip-ons. These little black dingly. Really pretty. If anybody's interested in any of this, let me know. And Send me a message and we can talk. The last two pair, I was trying to find, make a set, but it was cost too much. But I seen these were really cute, little roses on them. And these are just a clip like that. I don't think these ones said anything on them. They're really, really cute. If anybody knows anything about these, let me know in the comments below. And the last pair I got was these little pearls with rhinestones around them. I can't read what that says. It has something on the back. Sorry for the glare. These are little... really pretty. So that's that for that estate sale. And this weekend, this Labor Day weekend, I went to a few Brummage sales, yard sales, and I went to this one. And I hit and they some good stuff there. First thing I've seen was this big bag of polyfill. I think she said for 10 cents. So I was like, okay. And then I seen this box. It says craft materials, 50 cents plus container. Well, the other day I broke my circle punch and well, I had went to Hobby Lobby, so I got a Hobby Lobby haul for you too. And I got a envelope board punch for the, to have the corner punch too. Then I seen this, and in here was a corner punch, which was worth, totally worth the 50 cents. And then there was these scissors, a little ruler, 
and some papers and stickers. Just little odds and ends. So I was super excited about that. I love this thing. It works really good. I, I've already used it. She had <clears throat> some little cards. I thought these would be good for pocket letters or altering and putting in journals and things like that. So I got that and then I got this Scrabble States game. I thought these would be good for friend mail, pocket letters. It has all the states. States on it. I was happy about those. <clears throat> she had a few bags there with just all kinds of craft supplies. So I seen this one. It said craft materials for making candy canes. There's no price on it. I think I got it for like two bucks. All kinds of beads, and I thought these were different. It's like a a long <coughs> oval shape. Sorry about my frog in my throat. There's orange, yellow. And it's got these little red. circle kind of beads. They're not circle, they look like hexagon or something like that. Pipe cleaners. But when I looked in here, I seen this and this is why I got this. I had this little thing of Waterproof Black Indian India Drawing Ink. So I thought that was really cool. This is in this little bag with a paintbrush and stencils. I think the alphabet. So that alone was worth the two bucks. And there's like all kinds of beads in here. They're like little stars. Probably some of you ladies probably remember making these things years ago. She had clear, all these clear, Christmas color, red, green, and white. There was even a little piece of lace in there with pearls on it. Acrylic paint. And this bag has red, white, and green. These pipe cleaners. I spent five, five fifty total for everything. There is even a couple little bags of little bells. This little gold rose was in there. Little pieces of berries. Green pipe cleaners. And look, you guys, it even has the instructions. Everything you need. And then how to make the candy canes. That was really 
awesome. <clears throat> and she also had some material fabric. So I got this little bag here, 10 cents. Nice little, good little piece of fabric. Valentine's. And this, I didn't know if I was going to get or not. And there was another girl over there. And I kind of went back over and grabbed it up. <laughs> it's a bundle, a craft cotton bundle for $2. And she got this. Pink and blue gingham. There's quite a bit here. This one is kind of like a fall theme. Let me rip this. I don't want to open it yet. Some flowery. That might have been an old sheet. This like olive green. Blue flowers on it. Like a beige little circles. Some St. Patrick's Day. This one was really pretty. With the circle or the hearts. And this is like Oriental. There's a lot of that. Another one of uh, fall fabric, a little scarecrow right there, and sunflowers, pumpkins, and leaves, and there's red, white, and blue, this one has stars, and then last there's this Easter, all these eggs on it, all that for two bucks, <laughs> yeah, And then in that other bag, too, there was this roll of, it's like a green, dark green stuff. It's not sticky, so I don't know what it's used for. If you know, let me know in the comments below. It's also in there. Alright, guys, that's it for... That yard sale. That is really good. Place the stop. <laughs> Lastly, I have a bag from Walmart that I forgot I had and I kept meaning to haul. And back in August I went shopping and I just was looking in the clearance aisle and they had a bunch of ribbon on sale. Fabric pieces, quarters. For ten cents. It's running out of paint. I wanted to get some more paint. So I just got one can of this Krylon Color Master Gloss Gumdrop. Twenty five percent more. So I got that. Take this out of the bag. I got these at Walmart for 75 cents. The composition books to alter. You know, 100 sheets. So I got three. And 
they had all these quarters and they were like 25 or 10 cents. So I got this pink. And I got this pink. And I got this one. Sorry for the shadow. And I got some yellow ones. This is pretty. Yellow one like that. Oh, that teal. Camouflage like. 25 cents. I got this one. I got a bunch of cigar boxes, I think. I might use this fabric on or make flowers. And I got another pink. So I got one, two, I got all that. And then the ribbon. This one was like a was a dollar. It's got pink and yellow and green. It's like silky ribbon. I thought this one was really pretty, and this one is like that ribbon. It has lines in it. It's purple and green and white. And this one was seventy-five cents. This one was a dollar. This one was a dollar. This is like a beige with tan dots. This is like a fall one. Here's these red and teal flowers and the leaves. This one was a dollar fifty. Striped one, 75 cents. And these last three I really like. Especially, this is my favorite one. These butterflies. I was like, yep, that's mine. I had to have it. So pretty. This pattern, it's like a gold and black paisley, maybe oriental. And then the last one I got was the key. This one was a dollar. And I got some scissors. Alright guys, that's it for my state sale, garage sale, and Walmart. Um, these little jars here I got for my mom's and I redid them. This is kind of shabby chic one. The pearls and sequins and ribbon. I thought it turned out really good. And then this one was just some little scraps I had found. And she had cut off, cut up a bunch of those fuzzy pants. And this was a st string from something. And I put some flowers. And some of that mesh. 
like new ribbon they got a Dollar Tree and the green on top here just something to put pens or scissors or makeup brushes or anything like that and then this one I made for Halloween with the the diamond wrap from Dollar General and the new ribbon from Dollar Tree with the spiders and the bats and the pumpkins. I got some lights too. I was going to put in here the orange ones. I thought this turned out really cute. I put the pumpkins around the top and then I got two strips of spiders and two strips of the purple bats. My D DIY for Halloween. Three bucks. Well, under three bucks. Okay. There's a flower I made with some of my old shirts. Thought it turned out good. These were some fabric I got from Walmart. And I put some. I stiffened them up and then I put them on felt. I thought I was going to make some little earrings out of these. That would be cute. Another little thing. I got that Jenga game from Dollar Tree and the stickers. I'm gonna make some magnets. Stick them on there. I think I got that idea from One Very Happy Bird. She does a lot of really cute um, craft fair items and stuff you can make for presents and gifts. I got everything piled on my table here. I found this little tag at work the other day on the ground. It's so cute. It's brand new. I picked it up and brought it home. My little kitty. I think that was my mom sending me Love from heaven. I started working on these little journals finally. I got this one. It's like a 4th of July theme. I put some gesso on there and I just put some washi tape. And I had this, a couple of these flags sort of like ribbon. I mod podge on here and put a little bit of bling. I didn't do the backs yet. And then I did this one. Put some tape on there, but then I mod podge a piece of tissue paper I had found at my mom's. She had a bunch of it, really pretty stuff. I was just playing around. Um. I had a bunch of these spools piled up and I went to throw them away one day and this was from the the diamond wrap and look at this guys it opens up and you could use this little container put some beads in or whatever take off the cardboard I was like what I thought that was cool First time I ever seen them with the plastic on the middle. It's usually cardboard. Alright guys. Uh, I think that's it. Nope, that's not it. Also at the garage sale where I got the polyfoam. 
they had a bunch of these in like a free box. Nat National Geographic. And these are from 1991, 1993. Yeah, I got October 1991, March 1993, April 1993, and May 1993. So I grabbed them. I thought these would be great. And from uh, went to McDonald's and got a Happy Meal. Yes, I. Because I wanted one of these emoji things. And look which one I got. I was so happy I got the cat one. 